for newspaper.com at the Media 140 event here at the Hub in King's Cross. We're here this evening to learn more about the hottest subject at the moment, data economy. So without further ado, let's go and learn more. And from this evening's event, what were you hoping to, to achieve? What were you hoping to get out of this evening? What we try to do at Media 140 is really try and engage different audiences in what's happening technologically. So we've obviously already looked at journalism, we've looked at brands and marketing, we've looked at the third sector, and really data, open data and data visualisation are, are almost the next step in all of those different elements because you can use it in journalism, you can use it in marketing to engage with different audiences. What inspired you to come here this evening? Basically the mix between social uh, information, sharing on social media, but lots of data which is involved a lot in my work as well, so the sort of merging of those two things is quite interesting. It's informative because it's hard to keep track of a lot of the developments and the kinds of tools, applications and uses of them that are happening. I mean as much time as you can spend online you can't keep up with it. So it's a good kind of overview of what people are doing with it. Well, this evening I spoke about open data, uh, what, you know, why, what it is, why it's important, what you can do with it, and so what some of the challenges are in that area. So, what, you know, most directly, open data is material that you're free to use, reuse, and redistribute. Why it's important is because what it allows us to do, particularly how we can build complex artifacts, and we can build uh, operating systems, we can build information systems that allow us to answer to questions from genetics to libraries to where our spending money goes. Well, one of the things is uh, Twitter is such an interesting thing at the moment and everybody's tweeting and we're about how can you harness that data, how can you actually manipulate it so that it can be useful for not only the, uh, the people here tonight, the event goers, but actually commercially because this is about data economy. So how can we turn that into money, either to save money or to make money and to have conversations automatically with the people that are interested in the same things you are. But one of the things that I think came out, which I think is really important, is this idea of play and having fun with data and not losing this kind of sense that data can be fun and that it's nice to be playful in the process of kind of processing the data and that, that to me struck a chord because I think because we're both academics <laughs> we're not necessarily that playful. I was interested for, to hear from Simon at The Guardian how difficult it is to actually find the data you know when you get these spreadsheets and you've got to then look through it and work out and mix the data together because that's that's what I found when I was looking it was so hard you know, you know you look at government data there's so many different versions of it and you'd have to be a real expert but to try and find out what is the real, the essential data from it. So it was quite interesting to hear that it takes quite a big team. Well, it's fascinating because that's why you've actually got involved. So we're actually going to become a technology partner for Media 140. So every event will now have an ultra knowledge tweet wall before, during, and after the event. So it's a great way for the whole community to now use this tool, as I was saying, to harness the relationships electronically, automatically, find new people to connect with, even when they're not at the event. So hopefully we can help inspire, move people to actually connect with people, have conversations. So yeah, we're really excited to be involved. So the talks are over and the drinks are flowing here at the Media 140 event in King's Cross. But it's time for us to say goodbye until the next event. Will we see you then? I hope so.